Alright guys, what's up? What's going on again? It's Ease. Ease chill. As always, you know he's always chilling on your screen. You can call me Ease if you want to. And I got something a little bit different. This is going to be my first Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video. I'm going to do a little COD casting in a way and in a way not. I'm going to use the COD casting feature. I still a lot of things I got to learn about COD casting. Like how to live stream with COD casting. Uh, I'm trying to live stream, but... It's something about having to have a certain amount of people watching at the same time with podcasting. Maybe it's something I'm not doing right. So, I'm like I said, I'm trying to get the theater mode down packed. I'm trying to learn things here and there while I'm playing with Lex and Sunny in a multi-team kill confirmed match on Turbine. Uh, but it's not really about the match. It's just eye candy. You know how I like to give you guys eye candy while I'm talking. The main thing I want to do is talk to you guys about what I think about this multiplayer compared to all other Call of Duties. And I guess you can say like a, a quick little review. This isn't gonna be too long. Maybe about in the next three, four minutes of the match, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit about it. Now, it's three people that I categorize, two maybe, in Call of Duty. There's the Call of Duty fanboy, fangirl, whoever, whichever you wanna call yourself. The person that's gonna buy Call of Duty and love each and every one of them and not really complain as much. We're still gonna get our complaints, but not gonna complain as much. The second you're gonna have the Call of Duty tired, <laughs> or the, the tired Call of Duty fan who is tired of playing Call of Duty because it's the same thing. Let's let's admit it. It's the same looking thing. You're using the same engine, and you know it's Call of Duty. You know, but you know, like a lot of people say, why fix something if it's if it's not broken, right? The third is the Call of Duty. I'd say team fanboy, the person that's going to either love Treyarch or are going to love Infinity Slash Sledgehammer or Infinity when it was just Infinity Ward back in, uh, you know, the Modern Warfare 1 days and Modern Warfare 2 days. Now, as my opinion, as trying to be as neutral as I can, as Switzerland as I can, you know, I really think playing this game, I think that this is the best feeling Call of Duty right next to... I'd say Modern Warfare 2. Why? Because the game looks phenomenal. I, I, compared to Black Ops, this game looks phenomenal. The first Black Ops I was talking about. I remember not liking the multiplayer as much as I did in, in the original Black Ops because it just had this dirty, dingy feel to it. I mean, if you have Black Ops, put it in right now after playing Black Ops 2 or even playing Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. It just has this feel to it. It just looks grainier, darker. I don't know what they did with this. They still kind of have their darker feel to it because of the way that they make their maps here in um, Black Ops 2 because of the Treyarch team, because that's their style. But it just looks a lot cleaner. The the, the characters look great. You know, the, the scenery looks phenomenal and the maps, oh man, they did a great job, man. I think that the, the rivalry, not really rivalry, but of course there's got to be some kind of friendly competition between them and Infinity Ward. They have to be better. You know, they can't be coming out with a mediocre product ever since Call of Duty World at War. A lot of people didn't like Call of Duty World at War because Modern Warfare set the standard and they were still making this grainy, shitty looking game. Even though it played well, you know, had nice weapons, it just had this look to it. I'm telling you, the guns sound better in Black Ops 2. I told Sonny the guns sound punchier. He said, I never heard anybody say punchier, but I heard it from somewhere else before. It, it, it just, to me, it's better. It feels smooth. It feels nice. The way that you customize your weapons are nice. I love it. My classes, I'm, I'm starting to get real used to setting up my classes and using wild cards and like taking away weapons that I don't want to use, taking away my tactical. I have a, a class right now where I'm just running with a pistol and a tomahawk and I'm, I'm doubled up on two of the, uh, two of the perks. So that I can move faster and do other things. And another one where I took away my tactical grenade and things like that. So it's just it's so many different things you can do. They've really done it. And it's Dragonfire. I like. Look at the way it looks when it just flies around. It's just something that just. It just looks real like it's in the game. I really love this game and how things look. It, it makes me feel like you're involved with what's going on. And it also it just. Things just look better. It's so many other things I want to talk about, as, as well as the presentation, you know, the way the menus look. If you remember how Black Ops menu looked, where it's like you're sitting in that chair and you have to get out, you know, of the binds and you can walk around the menu. They do something like that, but the menus just look cleaner. It's just a lot of things. Like I said, this game is good. If you don't want to believe me, go to a friend's house and play it at their house and you'll see how clean it looks compared to the other ones. 
but that's pretty much it i'll probably jump in and do some zombies um for you guys in another film and tell you guys how that would look you know and things like that and what i compare it to and maybe the campaign as well haven't even touched the campaign yet but you guys know what to do man be easy